Hey guys, Martin here. I know that we're still here. I know we're still in the 70s. I know I got it wrong last time. I tried guessing and that was that was the first mistake. That was my first my first error was in trying to guesstimate how many times I've talked to you guys via the form of the vlog. But uh we're we're well into the 70s now. Uh kind of a a rough start to the morning. I didn't want to get out of bed. I won't lie. It had nothing to do with depression. Uh, just laziness. So that's kind of a positive, you know. It's not a great thing. It's not something to be proud of, but it is. It is something to be proud of because I, for the last three weeks at least, and I know I've been talking about it in these entries, but for the last three weeks at least, I've felt very good. I felt I felt good. Like if I haven't felt great, I've felt good, and it's incredible to be able to say that. It's it's like the biggest like is the most amazing breakthrough in in my uh my whole world right now it's incredible it's it's i don't know how else to describe it it's it's unbelievable it, uh, it's if i wasn't feeling it as i was saying it i wouldn't believe it and i'm sure there are those of you out there who are like well you're okay now you're better and yeah I'm, i mean i am better than i was i'm definitely better than i was and i've been better before as well but you know whether this is the the it, whether this is the uh the sunlight coming through the clouds and you know breaking through the the rain and and giving me a dry spell or whether this is just the end of a very very negative part of my life one way or another i don't know if it's either of them i don't know if it's somewhere in between but it's a it's a good thing and it's something to take pause to take a moment and and really if you've been feeling positive lately yourself or if you ever start feeling positive even if it's just for one day it's worth taking a moment to to think about and congratulate yourself for and and be grateful for it really is and i wanted to take that moment and and be like dude this is my at least my third week where i felt good about myself and uh i feel like it's something that's worth making note of and i feel like it's it's something to reinforce you know because if if you feeling if you're feeling good and it feels good to feel good then what's the downside you know what's the downside to just taking a moment to acknowledge that uh this week i wanted to talk about listening and uh it's not a straightforward thing like oh remember to listen to your friends or something like that i mean it is essentially it's it is pretty straightforward and obvious but a lot of the things about you know dealing with depression are relatively obvious and you know not necessarily common sense but they the solutions are relatively available it's just with depression it's one of those things a lot of it is the will to use those solutions or to find those solutions or to you know spend the time and the money and the effort putting yourself on the path to recovery uh, and a lot of the time depression doesn't let you do that unfortunately but listening is a relatively simple thing you can do not just as someone with depression but as someone who knows people with depression i um specifically wanted to talk about there was a, a girl who came to me at the last convention i did metacon which i talked about last week uh who sat down next to me and i don't want to i don't want to share any details about it just because obviously it's not my place to do so uh the only thing i will say is that she wanted to just talk about her experiences with depression and uh anxiety etc and she sat with me for a while and i listened and sometimes a lot of the time when i when people come up to me and want to explain what they're going through a lot of the time all they need is someone to listen to them and and i don't know them most of the time and that's why listening is the most valuable tool that i have for them it it is just to let them vent to let them get the words out cuz maybe they've never been able to bring these up in in public maybe they've never maybe they don't want to be seen in this way but if you just take the time if you give if you give them a moment of your time if you give them 10 minutes of your time and listen to them then the help it gives them is invaluable it it's something that you know they may not have even 
they don't maybe their family don't listen maybe their family don't notice you know so just being there to lend a friendly ear you know that that's more than they might usually get uh so so what i'm basically saying is if you know somebody even if you don't know, necessarily know that they have depression but if they seem if they seem to show some of those tendencies if if you have an inkling that they might have depression or if they are completely open about it and if if unfortunately they might be down a lot of the time they they might you know has to use a lot of the same negative language they may be very down on themselves and you know they may even you know threaten to hurt themselves but sometimes listening is a very powerful thing that it isn't going to fix the problem listening is obviously never going to just magically get rid of depression nothing magically gets rid of depression uh, you know but listening makes you feel less alone and being completely alone and feeling completely alone uh, things that depression feeds on and makes worse and twists and makes it feel like a, a weapon that it's sticking in your side you know it's like oh you're completely alone in this and you can't you can't get out so I win that's what it's always telling me you know but uh if somebody listens if if you're able to make the time to listen to somebody in that situation I genuinely believe it helps like I believe it helps inordinately like more than you'd realize and I think it's important to know when to listen and when to do anything else because there was this guy and I hate to complain about it because his intentions were were good his intentions were good but uh, while I was listening to this girl this guy comes over and I don't believe they knew each other if they did and I made the wrong assumption then that's on me but uh, this guy comes over and he sees this girl crying next to me and I wish we could have gone to a more private setting but unfortunately it's not always within my power to just get up and leave where I'm positioned at a convention but um, this guy put, sees this girl's crying, puts his stuff on my table, which is fine, you know, it's just a table, that's what it's for. But then without asking, he immediately, like, rushes towards her and, like, puts his arms out like he's going to hug her. And I had to, like, intervene. I had to physically interject myself and be like, wait, please don't do that. I understand what you're trying to do, but this is not going to help right now this you might overwhelm her you might who knows why she's this upset you certainly don't I've been listening to her I still don't so please don't you know physically you know provoke her or even like it's not even like a hug would have like you know triggered her so to speak but it's not what she needed you know and it's important to to listen to people and pay attention to them and know when it's right to do that and when and when it's right to just listen and a lot of the time listening is all they need because a stranger coming over and like basically physically imposing himself upon her and obviously that's not necessarily what he was doing but it was very sudden and, and very immediate and very strange and a bit presumptive presumptive presumptuous I don't know if I'm getting but I had to take a moment and be like, dude, please just let her speak. And, you know, any, anything else comes later, you know. So um, it's important to know when to listen and when to give people the time they need. As far as if you have depression, listening is still important, in my opinion. Listening to yourself, knowing when to listen to yourself and knowing when, when listening to yourself, who is speaking. And by that, I mean knowing whether the voice you're hearing because we all hear a voice in our head I don't mean that in like the crazy loopy kind of way that you know traditionally you know the voices in your head you know Randy Orton of the WWE would have a lot to say about that I'm sure but uh there there is a voice there is a thought in our head a lot of the time and uh, it's important to know where that thought is coming from you know and what's causing that thought and you know where where it lives is is how I feel about it is like where does that thought live inside me and uh, if it's coming from a place a natural place that is genuinely a reaction to things that are happening around you or reacting to feelings that you're having like genuine feelings that you know are not are not being twisted or manipulated or you know that thoughts that just come to you naturally if it's something like that you know it's you know listen to those listen to those see where those are taking you but if it's a thought if it's a feeling that is coming to you as a result of just 
this cloud that's hanging over you, you know, this, this very dark cloud that won't let you see, you know, some of the things that may be right in front of you, some of the things that you might have been able to see without even trying before. Maybe don't listen to those as much, you know? I know that that's... I hate this because whenever I say this stuff, I'm always like, I'm, I make it sound like it's just, oh, well, do this and then you'll be better. And it's not like that. It don't work like that. You don't, you don't just do one thing and it solves the problem with depression. You don't do, you don't even do, a li a, you know, a, a list of 10 things. You don't do, you know, it's not any, a 10 easy steps to recovery. It's, it's a life to recovery <laughs> for some people. And that's what it's felt like for me, certainly. But uh, it listening to yourself and knowing when to listen and knowing when to focus on those thoughts and when not to, and just knowing when to believe what you're feeling and knowing when to... Oh, that's not even true because all of your feelings are real. I've said this many times in these videos. All of your feelings are real, but they're not all coming from a real place. You know? If that makes sense. No, no when to listen to those feelings and to encourage them and to believe them and to follow them through and when not to. Because if you're feeling something like, you know, oh, I'm hungry, going out and getting something to eat, that might make me feel better, you know, whatever that, whatever that is, you know, you could probably listen to that. You might have to postpone it depending on what you're doing, but you can listen to that very easily. But if you're feeling something like, well, nobody wants me around, I'd better leave and go hide in my room and just close myself off to the world and just hope everyone forgets that I exist. Maybe don't listen to that one so much, okay? Because that's that, that one's a lie, and that one's not true, that one's not going to help. It might help temporarily, it might help make you feel less awful for, for, for an hour or so, but you'll feel worse after the fact, chances are, because, you know, all you're doing is just perpetuating this negativity, unfortunately. I feel like I've gone off the rails a little bit with this one. I feel like I don't really, I don't really feel like I'm saying anything all that helpful, but who knows, maybe that's my thought that I shouldn't be listening to. You know, maybe I, maybe I am helping. I think the first part is definitely helpful. For those of you who don't have depression, if you're watching this video, listening to people, that's a huge aid. It really is. Like, it's helped me a great deal. I mean, that's why therapy works for me so much, you know, it's not so much that I, I, I go to therapy to solve my problems, it's I go to therapy to let my problems out, you know, in the form of speaking, and that's another, that's why these videos work for me, you know, because it feels like someone's listening, and it feels good to talk and get it off my chest, and just work this out, so yeah, hope you're doing okay. This is the end of this vlog. I'm just going to wrap things up. Uh, I, like I said, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling much better, you know? I, I really hope this continues. I hope not to come to you in a week or two and, and be all red-eyed and sad and, and there's a helicopter going overhead. I think they're looking for people doing vlogs when they should be doing actual work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. And uh, you take care of yourself, okay?